In this video, I'm going to disassemble this PlayStation 3 so that um, I can get to the uh, graphics processor and also to the um, CPU. Okay, first thing is to take this screw out right over here. This is a, this is a security screw. It's a, um, it's like a Twix, but with a, like a little dot in the in the middle. But it doesn't really matter because this uh, this T dash ten screwdriver will just open it up. It's not a big deal. So after taking that out, move the cover to the other side. And then there's some uh, screws. So there's uh, six long ones and one short screw for that. And uh, over here there's a little tab that you gotta press in to unlatch it. And it pivots like this, and then and then it just comes off like that. So now you got the um, uh, the Blu-ray player and the power supply. So power supply comes off first. And it's secured with uh, one machine screw in the front, two machine screws in the back. And also a couple of plastic screws on, on the side. I'm just calling these plastic because they're meant to screw into plastic. Connector in the front, connector in the back, these screws from the side, and uh, there's also this plug over there, so it might make it a little bit hard to get out. I'm going to take the um, screws. Go for the uh, power supply and set those aside. Might be a good time to put on an anti static scrap. Yeah, about this time I'm going to put on this anti static scrap, which I should have had on before. And this um, protects the electronics from being zapped. Okay, so now that we got this um, power supply out over here, take the uh, 
DVD player out, one cable in the front, and just one over one ribbon cable on the uh, the back. Okay, now we've got the um, the board exposed over here. So. <coughs> First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all the little screws that um, that mount the board onto the onto the the case. So one here, two. So there's a screw over here in the back, and that's a ground screw. Plus there's this cable over here for the fan. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a ground screw. Set those aside. Oh. I take out the, uh, the hard drive. Set that aside. Okay. Um, now what's left, of course, is the heat sink, which is on the bottom. You can't see it from right over here. And the heat sink is mounted to the board using these four screws. One, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do is, before I take it out, I'm going to mark them. Okay, so this is going to be front, back. So this is just under 11 and a quarter turns. Screw one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Almost 11 for this one. It's going to be about 10.8 turns. I'm going to set this aside. And they keep the screws in order. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven and three quarters. Okay, now to take the, uh, the board out. Now, um, it's being held onto the uh, the case by the actual um, thermal grease itself. So when I pry this off, I'm just going to be real careful and slow about this. Okay, what I just did is I pushed through onto the threads because it wasn't releasing very well. Okay, so now the uh, the board right here has been released from the uh, um, the heat sink. It's over here.